Hello everyone, today we're going to be climbing dangerously up ladders, we're going to be cleaning that disgusting sink and getting all soapy in the garden. Plus I'm going to show you a little trinket I got from the boot fair. But anyway, I thought I'd start the day with cleaning the windows because today's absolutely beautiful and it's really bugging me when I sit in the garden. I look back at the house and I can just see black marks everywhere. It's driving me nuts. So I thought I'm going to be a bit of a silly billy, closing my windows. There we go, rapid speed. And I'm going to give it a bit of a freshen up. This stuff smells beautiful absolutely i put too much in <laughs> i always do but it smells absolutely beautiful how is everyone doing i hope you're all really good what are you up to for your bank holiday we've been up to all sorts of shenanigans went to a boot fair this morning oh i love going to a boot fair there's some what is it about the smell of grass at a boot fair like the second you get out of the car it smells different to any other field it's just got this smell about it and I really love it. Anyway, I set up the ladder and then I realised, actually, no, I don't want it there. So I put it against the pergola and started hosing down. But I couldn't hose properly because the end nozzle isn't turning properly. So I couldn't get the full pout, which I really wanted because it's going to dislodge all that crap, you know. But yeah, I've got a little spooky story to tell you, actually. Um, so while I'm cleaning these windows, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain it. So I don't know if I've said this before, but I have like a really weird like sense where I sense things, I pick up on things and sometimes I dream things before they happen. And loads of people in my family going back decades have um, had the same thing. And we always joke, me and my mum, that there were like witches in like past lives and witches going through our family and whatnot. Some people believe in all that sort of thing. Some people don't. But anyway, I'm just going to go with it. So... A lot of the time I do dream things that um, the next day it happens and it's really eerie. I've had dreams before where I've been in a car accident and then the very next day I've had several massive misses and it's been horrendous. It's awful when I start having bad dreams about my boys because then I become an absolute anxiety wreck panic woman. But I've dreamt places that I've never been to in my life and I've literally walked into these buildings, whatever, and then like... 10 years later we've gone somewhere that's like six hour drive I've never been to this place and i've gone i know exactly what's in there and i've described it all before we've gone in and i know it's spot on it's really really weird and it kind of creeps me out a little bit at the same time i find it really fascinating anyway something happened today it's only little and you're probably gonna think i'm mad but anyway all day i've been going to my eldest son i can hear bismarck playing all right so this is a song anyway like it's only the intro i can hear and I'm like, I can hear it. And I keep going around the house going, who's playing it? Who's playing it? No one's playing it. Anyway, I sit down for five minutes, like, I don't know, five or six hours later, sit down for five minutes. And um, a post comes up and it says it's on this day that the Bismarck sank. And I said to my son, that's really weird. Don't you think that's really weird? And he was like, that is pretty cool. And I'm like, I don't know what to make of it. I just think, you know, is it just like, oh, it's a coincidence or is it just like, I just have a really strong sense in things and I just pick up on things. I don't know. I just, it's really, really bizarre, but that's kind of, I don't know, it really got me today. Anyway, I'm cracking on with these windows. I love this tool. I really do. I did get another one. I've got two of these now. So this is my, my second one and it's doing its duties, going all over the um, windows and frames and all over the place and I love about it is that you when you turn it to its side it can uh, it can get in all those little places and whatnot but yeah I'm out here feeling like a professional window cleaner I am got me old wiper in the old pocket and my rag over my shoulder I'm like yeah yeah Gabby the window cleaner coming round in the early hours yes and then it's like the dreaded bit which is clear up your mess after you've made it but always got to do it and my drain is unblocked so therefore I'm pouring it down there. It smells beautiful though, so a bit better than it has smelt. Pop this back in the shed, which was a silly mistake because I actually need that. I need to get up into the loft because I'm thinking about doing a boot fair. Got so much stuff up there we don't need. Anyway, put the hose back around to the front because Nick needs it there for work. And um, yeah, I'm just happy to be out. It's windy, a little bit chilly. And the last couple of days I've been absolutely icy cold. Oh yeah, here's another story. I ran out of fuel, didn't I? Going across, the, um, going across the dual carriageway, went over the roundabout. My fuel gauge doesn't work and doesn't tell me. And um, I ran out of fuel. Honestly, it was one of the most terrifying things. I've never run out of fuel before. And on the, where I was as well, it was really, really creepy. And not creepy, it was really, really scary because I was like a nervous wreck. And yeah, it was on a bend after the roundabout. So I had to rush over and um, buy a fuel can and get some fuel and hope to God it would start. 
but um yeah it was awful i've never had that before and i panicked like mad but i just just bumped it onto the grass verge and um yeah i hoped that the police car wouldn't come around and be like why is this car just sat here i mean i had my hazards on and whatnot but because i was on my own it was not like i could leave it all going and it made me think am i supposed to have one of those things that you put out like a sign like a warning sign you're supposed to stand up i don't know maybe i need to look into that anyway i've cleaned the window that is basically the cat's cat flap and then i thought i better give the kitchen a quick clean up before i start cooking dinner and yeah it's been one of those days but it's been non-stop and i've really slacked lately because i had a really bad flare-up after the lawton show it was so bad that i was icy cold i was in agony i went down to my local sainsbury's the very next day because we needed bread and milk and i literally just sat in the car park because the car was so hot when i got back in it it was really comforting and i just burst into tears i just sat there and cried my eyes out because i couldn't believe what my body was going through and it also affects my head it makes me really heady and just not very nice um my mum gave me this little box and i've been putting all my utensils and that in it so i've cleared another drawer out to put like important stuff like school letters and stuff like that so i always know where things are if i need it like school menus and trips that are coming up but just like a handy drawer rather than it being the man drawer that's going to be my drawer yeah the gabby drawer do not touch but anyway come to the sink and it's a bit grim where everything's been sitting in there i did um what were they chinese pork loins oh they were beautiful they were beautiful i did them with um it's gonna sound really bizarre but it's really nice i did it with homemade mash and it's really really good so you put them together oh yes anyway just giving the sink a bit of a clean over before i start doing the washing up which i flipping hate i've got such dry hands at the moment like do you ever get that where the bottom of your fingers um on the palm of your hands you just they're like the other side of your knuckles the inner knuckles yeah um they just peel and then i find myself picking them i find it really satisfying but also really annoying at the same time because i can't get to it as as well as i want to and then i find i'll get sore yeah i'm a skin picker i do like picking all the skin around the edge of my fingernails and stuff it's really disgusting when i was younger i used to do it so bad that my fingers used to actually sting and i couldn't bend them so i'm not as bad as i was but yeah there we go so giving this a bit of a clean up there we go i want to show you this i got from the boot fed this morning she wanted seven pounds for it. it's really heavy and i really wanted one at christmas very similar to this but i didn't buy it because it's you know it's like you're buying for other people you don't you avoid buying for yourself and i really wished i got it look at the bottom look little dragon legs and the dragon feet she wanted seven pounds so i said you know would you take five and she said six so i was like yeah i'll take it because i know i'd regret it so i thought yeah love that give it a bit of a clean up there we go drink lots of water peeps thank you for watching i'll see you in my next one